We are now going to look at the area of study one, unit three core, and we'll start with the topic data analysis. First of all, we need to know the types of data that we use. From this diagram, we have two types of data, numerical or quantitative, represented by numerical values, and categorical or qualitative, represented by categories. The numerical variables can be either discrete, if they are countable, or continuous, if we talk about measurement. The categorical data can be either nominal or ordinal. Nominal is sort of like branding, and ordinal is ranking them or putting them in order. As a rule of thumb, if you can calculate the mean of the data, then the data is numerical. Categorical data can also be written in number form, and here are some examples. House numbers, phone numbers, date of birth, postcodes. As a note, shoe size is considered a numerical discrete variable. In this question, we are given two variables, country and surface area, and we are asked to state what type of the variables they are. Let's start with country, Australia, China, India. This is definitely a categorical nominal data because we don't have to put them in any order, so they are sort of like branding. For this reason, we can cross out options B and D. Option D is because of the word respectively, which means that the first variable should be categorical. Surface area is the number of square kilometers. This is definitely numer numerical data and its measurement, so it's a numerical continuous variable. For this reason, we can cross out options A and E, and the answer we are after is option C, categorical and numerical variables respectively. In this question, the two variables are number of readers and book genre. And again, the question is asking to state the type of variables they are. The number of readers, it's defined by three categories, less than 20, 20 to 50, and 50 years of age or older. The use of numbers in a variable does not necessarily mean that the variable is numerical. Always check whether the numbers represent categories or not. So this data is categorical and it can be ranked. So it's a categorical ordinal variable. So the first variable is a categorical ordinal variable. For this reason, we can cross out option A and we can also cross out option C because of the word respectively. So the first variable should be categorical for the answer to be correct. Option D can also be crossed out because the first variable um, should be categorical ordinal. Book genre is fiction, romance, or action. So this data can be branded, fiction, romance, and action. So this variable is a categorical nominal variable. For this reason, we can cross out option B, and the answer we are after is option E, an ordinal variable and a nominal variable, respectively. In question three, we have five sets of variables, and the question is asking for the number of numerical variables in this set of data. So let's start with gender gender of each teacher, male or female. So this is definitely categorical nominal. Subject, number of subjects taught. One, two, three. Now this is countable, which means it's numerical discrete. Teaching years, the number of years the teacher has been teaching for. Less than five years between five and 20 and 20 years or more. Now, this is definitely represented by three categories. 
So again, the use of numbers in a variable does not necessarily mean that the variable is numerical. Always check whether the numbers represent categories. So this variable is categorical ordinal. Age, the teacher's age, under 35 years of age or 35 years of age or older. Now this is very similar to the variable before, so it's a categorical ordinal variable. Postcode, the postcode of the suburb where the teacher lives. Ask the question, does it make sense to calculate the mean of this variable? In this case, it doesn't, which means that this is a categorical ordinal variable. So the answer we are after is option B, one. You can have a look at these five questions from the VC examinations, especially the last three where the percentage of students who had the correct answer is very low. So check the examination report for these three questions.